If you passed the busy intersection of Howe and Alta Arden in the last 20 years, you could expect to find Reggie. We knew he was out here, but we didn't know that he was talking to people. You know, we didn't know he was affecting so many lives. Today, it's where his son and daughter are providing a space for others to mourn their dad. People then drove up here and told us stories that we didn't even know. I was born and raised right here in Sacramento. Featured in this 2015 documentary, Reggie described his struggles with drugs and troubled relationships before the day that changed his life forever. I got tired of being the person that I was. I just got tired. He doused himself in gasoline and held up a lighter. I went back out to the garage and I just flicked it. Whew! I'm on fire. Reggie survived severe burns and described a hard battle that also changed his outlook on the world. The cold wind came to the side of my head to one of my ears and he said, I heard a voice say, Reggie's gonna make it. He was just a, a total 360, different person. Uh, he became loving, he became the father we always wanted. Relationships improved. And now that he's gone, his children have a newfound admiration for Reggie. Yeah. I thought I was the strongest dude on earth <laughs> until I came out here for a week, and he'd been doing this 20 years. Reggie became a familiar face to people driving by, many never hearing his story or his renewed passion for life. I don't care what the nationality is, where you came from, or whatever the case may be, we all are God's children, all of us. Let's all be friends. We don't need no more wars. Let's all be friends.